New Year, everyone! For the first property tour, this 2021 will be featuring Avida Land's latest development in Alabama de Dupac, Avida Towers Art. So we're here today to feature Avida Towers R Day, located in South Park District in Alabang Pontinduba, which is a 6.6 .6 mixed-use development by Avida Land, where we have malls, offices, and also residential complex. But before we proceed, I'd like to invite you to like, share, and subscribe to my channel to be updated with my latest videos. So there are three things that I like about Avila Towers are they number one it's strategic location so if you're coming from South Luzon Expressway either if you're coming from Manila or maybe Batangas or Laguna Avila Towers are they is closely located near Alabang exit and also Philin West exit and what's nice about the location of Avila Towers are they is it it's located in the first ever large scale mixed use development of Avida land which is South Park District where in the development itself has a mall, offices and also will be building uh, more residential condominium developments. Within the area of Avida Towers are they you will see uh, big malls like Festival Mall Alabang, uh, Landmark, you have Alabang Town Center, you also have Malita Lifestyle Mall and for hospitals we have Asian Hospital and also uh, the public hospital of Mundindupa. Apart from that, is th this development, since it's very closely located near the exit, it's accessible uh, going to the airport using the Skyway, wherein uh, if you are watching this video this year, we're familiar na uh, ginagawa ngayon yung extension po ni Skyway which will make Skyway accessible from Susana Heights all the way to Balintawa and also right now it's also accessible going to MOA The number two reason why I like Avida Towers Arden is the property management Avida Towers Arden in South Park District in general will be managed by the top property management company in the Philippines Ayala Property Management Corporation who handles all of the properties of Ayala from Luzon all the way to Mindanao. So the number three reason why I like Avida Towers Arden is the brand. Ayala brand has a very long history of quality and providing the best properties in the Philippines. <laughs> here in Avila Towers are they? The studio, junior one bedroom, and one bedroom unit. Today, we'll be featuring a studio unit and junior one bedroom unit. So for both units, we'll be featuring a bare and furnished unit so that you have an idea how to design your modern space. Tara, pasok na tayo. I'll be showing you first their studio unit, which is a bare unit. When you say bare, it is complete with tiles and also paint but it doesn't have furnishings. So the total floor area of this unit is 23.3 square meters, wherein the living, dining, and kitchen is at 19 square meters, and the toilet and bathroom is at 3.5 square meters. Tara, pasok tayo. Okay. So as you enter, you have this space on the right side, or the left side of the unit, wherein you can hang your photos, your pictures with your family, and dito rin sa baba, pwede kang maglagay ng shura, or uh, pwede nilagay ng sapatos, or maybe a uh, storage space wherein you put your, 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 your bags, or maybe the things that you usually use in a day. And then on the right side, okay, we have our toilet and bath, which is balikan na lang natin mamaya. Pakita ko muna yung buong unit. Okay, so we move further. As you can see, the total space of this area is at 19 square meters. So, as we enter, this is the proposed area for your kitchen, which is this is the actual turnover unit with a countertop and modular cabinets. 
So later on, when we see the furnace unit, you will see uh, what else can you do with this type of unit. Okay, as we move further, since this is a studio unit, combine the po ang bedroom and ang living area natin. So this is like this is like owning like a hotel. When you go to the hotel, uh, is a whole room lang siya. So well, to your concept, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. So this space can be a combination of your living area and also your bedroom, where you can design it in a way that it will be look comfortable. Okay, so let's go. Let's look at the toilet and bath. So that's the idea of the third over unit. Okay. So this is a turnover uh, unit, their turnover toilet and bath, complete with tiles, paint, and also its fixtures and water closet. So you have your shower head, and you also your um, sink and water closet. Okay, so let's proceed to the furnished unit. Okay, so for, for the furnished unit, like what I said, um, we are showing this to you so that you know how to design your studio unit once it's turned over to you. Okay, so pass the tile. So as you can see, like what I said, as we enter, you have this blank space in this wall. Ngayon, you can put either a painting and you can put a stand wherein you can put your cap, your jacket, your payong, maybe your shoe rack here. And as we move further, yeah, and so dito sa unit natin, ito yung ginawa ng, nilang design so that it may look bigger. So sabi nga ng mga interior designers, you put a mirror so that it can look bigger. So this is your uh, kitchen. So yung kitchen natin was, um, um, niretain niya po yung cabinets and also yung grand countertop natin. But at the same time, nilagyan niya po ng breakfast nook or dito po yung uh, kainan natin. Now, on the other side, yung katapat po nung, uh, ng, ng kitchen natin, uh, the designer also made this into a storage space. Okay, so this this they made this mirror into a storage space. Kasi nga, this is a, this is a studio unit. Wala na dito. Okay, so this is a studio unit. So they made it, the mirror, as a storage space so that you can put all of your things. Okay, masarado ka na. Okay. And sabi ko kanina, nung tinatour natin yung bare unit, you can make this like uh, your own mini hotel. So, if for example, if you're coming from abroad, which is usually ang mga buyers po natin ng condo ay taga abroad. Kasi nga, they, they like yung, uh, yung, uh, na, yung naiiwanan nila yung property nila with the property management kaya nasa abroad sila. And babalik, babalik sila na secure naman yung property because it's inside the condo development. So, ang ginawa po nila, they placed a small office here in the unit. So, uh, as we move further, nagdagdag rin po sila ng storage space. Okay, so, uh, to, to place yung mga gamit nyo, yung mga shoes, and yung also yung mga clothes nyo. And then, we move further, ang ginawa niya is, I believe this is a pull-out bed, hindi ko na lang ma-pull-out siya. So, ginawa niyang bed, at the same time, pwede rin siyang gawing sofa, which is also facing our uh, TV. And uh, when the unit is turned over to you, I forgot to mention, that it already comes with the provision for the window type aircon. So, let's go to the toilet and box para makita mo. Okay, let's go. So, ito, Gusto ko yung ginawa niya sa toilet and bath. It's very nice. So, the toilet and bath, nilagyan niya na po yung... Uh, it gave you an idea of how it would look like if you plan to do your own laundry. So, nilagyan na po niya for yung cabinets and also yung saan mo pwede ilagay yung laundry. And then, sa shower naman, nilagyan siya ng glass uh, door. Okay, so let's proceed to the junior one-bedroom unit. Welcome to our junior one bedroom. The size of this unit is the same with our studio at 23.3 square meters. So again, we'll be showing you the, the bare unit and then we'll be showing you afterwards their uh, furnished unit. Tara pa, pa So it's the same, uh, the same um, type of door that they use, the same flooring and the same um, uh, foyer. So you can also do the same thing. You can put your paintings here and your you can put uh, 
sabit na po ng mga gamit. Now, the main difference of this unit is actually, meron lang siya division. Pero bago tayo pumunta doon, pakita ko na rin yung target pen na. Uh, you will notice that it has the same layout. Now, why R1? Why would I buy a junior one bedroom? Ang maganda dito is, konti lang naman po yung difference niya. Eh, ang maganda po kasi ng junior one bedroom is, meron siyang division. So that you have a, you have privacy kapag meron kang guest, hindi nila makikita yung bedroom mo. So, uh, we have the same finishes as the studio unit. You have your countertop, you have your modular cabinets, and you have your overhead cabinets. And um, dito rin is you can put your breath here, and this can be the area for your living. And ito nga po yung difference ng studio natin. Uh, ng junior one bedroom natin with the studio, is meron siyang division. So itong division na ito, hindi nga yung all the way back. Eh. Kasi sa condo kasi, you should, kapag uh, inner unit siya, or it's a unit in between two units, uh, isa lang yung window. So kaya may spaces sa taas so that the natural light still comes in. Now, ang um, division na ito, ang maganda dito, it's really already included in the turnover. So you don't need to think about uh, sino bang mag-build dito, sino ang gagawa. And ang door po niya is sliding. So it's still space saver. So, kahit paglagay ka ng malaking semi-double bed here in the um, bedroom, asya siya. Kaya ka lang, pasang tayo dito sa inyo. So, you can put a semi-double bed here or in, pwede ka rin maglagay ng table na maliit for work para when you wake up and you need to answer immediately sa mga emails, you have a space where you can do that. Tapos, you'll be Beside your, with, uh, beside the window, para lang may view pa rin sa morning. Okay, let's go to the uh, furnished unit. Okay. So, welcome to the furnished unit. Furnished Junior One Bedroom. Okay, so... You know what I really like, what I like about real estate is uh, every time I show a property, kahit nakakapagod, kahit medyo na kailangan maghintay sa buyer, or minsan, uh, minsan talaga, ang dami mong kinakausapin na day. Pero uh, dahil magaganda yung showroom and also yung mga houses na pinapakita namin, it really energizes me. So, um, it's the same with the, it's, it, we're in the furnished unit right now, the junior one bedroom. What they did naman ngayon is naglagay sila ng, um, cabinet dito or parang small shelf wherein meron siyang pwede mong pagsabitin ng coat mo, pwede mong pagsabitin ng, ng hat mo, and also pwede mong patungan ng car keys or susi ng condo pwede yung ginawa rin naman yan, nilagyan niya ng frame. Okay, so for the oops, mabuksa ko lang ilaw so, for the for the one bedroom uh, for the toilet and bath it did something different, so Unlike the first unit, ang ginawa po niya, pinali na yung sobrang daming shelf space. Ito naman, nilitain lang niya, konti lang yung changes niya. So that uh, you will know how it looked like, it would look like kapag konti lang yung changes na ginawa. Okay? So as we move further, ang ginawa naman ng designer for this unit is dito niya nilagay yung uh, breakfast area natin or dining area natin. Na nilagay niya rin ng mirror so that it will the space would look bigger now for the kitchen um sa bare unit natin or turnover unit natin uh maliit lang yung space ngayon in extend lang niya so that you have a bigger space for your chopping and also for your preparing the meal and nilagyan niya po ng ano ng electric stove and also cooktop so that it, you would see kung ano talaga maging itsura niya kapag uh, nilagyan mo talaga ng gamit and beside it is your refrigerator or your ref or your fridge okay i, I don't know how you call it so nilagay niya rin this is a uh, uh, regular size na refrigerator so um uh, perfect for uh, to fit all your groceries okay so move further so ang ginamit niyang bed dito is a uh, really the semi bed semi double bed na meron siyang nilagay na shelvings na open where you can put your books you can put Uh, mga, para sa mga plantitos and plantitos dyan yung uh, mga halaman nyo uh, maybe you can put your awards and 
beside the bed, uh, syempre, you don't for you shouldn't forget your storage space for your clothes. So naglagay siya ng uh, cabinet for the clothes. So paano mo sa mo? Yeah, so ito. Okay, so I in the in yeah, like what I said, yung difference nito with the studio is you have your privacy. For example, nandiyan yung cameraman ko, yung brother ko. Tapos gusto kong matulog na on myself, tapos sayang ko lang sila diyan. I can close this one. Okay? So, yun ang kagandahan po ng Junior One Bed. watching our first property tour of 2021 i hope you like this video if you have comments or suggestions or properties that you would like to see kindly comment them down below or if you'd like to know more about avida towers ardane and other properties that i feature in my channel you will see my contact information in the screen my number and also email tapos huwag din po kalimutan na mag like share and subscribe na po para ma update sa mga bagong Yun lang po, and Happy New Year. Hope to see you soon. Bye guys! Teka lang, huwag ka lang muna umalis. Uh, nakalimutan ko ipakita yung location ng mismong property. So, pupunta natin siya. Uh, actually, kalikod lang niya si Avida Towers Altura. So, nandito tayo sa labas ng South Park. Um, and makikita niya sa left side is the yung mini park natin. So, I'll just show you the actual location. Actually, makikita mo na siya. Ito nasa tumbok na yan. Sa straight ahead na yan. Yan na po yung mismong uh, uh, location po ni Avila Towers Arden. So, it's a two-tower development right beside Avida Altura. Ayan, sobrang ganda po niya. So, ikutan lang natin para lang alam mo kung saan location kasi hindi ko nga na-feature. So, yan yung board. Yan yung location ni Avila Towers Arden. It's directly beside or at the back of Avida Altura, the first development of Avida land here in South Park District. Yan. So, uh, last na, pakita ko na lang din yung entrance ni Avida Altura. Ayan, nakita nyo, meron namang shops. So, that's the entrance of Avida Altura. Okay, yun lang po. Bye-bye na, bye-bye, 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 mag-drive na.